let's give us a point where negative 1, 2, where it's not given. In, um, now we're given the slope, and we're given a point. But now the x-coordinate is not 0, right? So we, again, want to write this in slope-intercept form. Now, I did not write this format over here, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it in this format. Um, the way you can do this in format is use what we call point-slope form, which would be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is called point-slope form. And actually, it should have been something I wrote up over there, but I didn't. So in point-slope form, the reason why point-slope form is helpful is when you have a point and the slope. We have a point and the slope. Now remember, you can see this y1 and x1. Basically, we're going to label this x1 and y1. And all you simply need to do is plug in those values in for y1, x1, and the slope. So we'd have y minus 2 equals my slope, which is 3, times x minus a negative 1. Please note, you guys, please notice how I put that in parentheses. Because so many students will just do x minus 1. No, it's x minus a negative 1, which in reality, x minus a negative 1 is the same as x plus 1. Very good. So if you want to change it to x plus 1 in your brain and do that, that's perfectly fine. Um, now, we just need to simplify. So we apply distributive property. y minus 2 equals 3x plus 3. And then we just solve for y by itself. Add 2, add 2. So y equals 3x plus 5. Cool?